Now what if they told you that the sine of theta was one half? Theta terminated in quadrant four. All right, they wanted to know what's theta. Theta? Hmm. All right, how are we gonna go do this? Well, why don't we take a look, man? We have knowledge of our unit circle. Great. So on our unit circle, where is the sine minus one half? Remember the sine is the second value in your components when you're on the plane using a unit circle. So the sine is y, so we're looking for where y is the short side. Okay, this point right here. This point is root three, root over two, and one half, where my x's are positive and my y's are negative. Okay, well, do you remember which point or which radian measure corresponds to such a point? On a, on a, on a, on a, on a, you know this is pi over six, and here we're getting the same point with a different sign on our y value. So this is minus pi over six, and then you know that there are two pi radians in an entire circle. We need to subtract off that. So then two pi minus pi over six, here what we need to do is we gotta get a common denominator. Here we see our common denominator would be six. So on my left, I'm over one. So I need to multiply by six over six. And then you multiply those fractions straight across. And you have 12 pi's over six minus a pi over six. Then I can subtract their numerators. 12 minus one gives you 11 pi over 6. Great. So where is the sine minus pi or minus 1 half if theta is in quadrant 4? Right there. What's that radian measure? 11 pi over 6.